Good evening, and thank you for joining the 2020-21 Adjunct Academy graduation. I'm Jennifer Vaca, the HCC Adjunct Academy Program Director. This evening, we have a couple of things lined up for you, including a congratulatory address from Faculty Senate President Daniel Dilla, some brief remarks about our team and other supporters, and then each one of our facilitators will introduce their cohort and the participants within each cohort. And then finally, we invite you all to go join us for a live Zoom video conference. The link has been shared with you in your RSVP, and we will also share the link following this presentation. So, tonight, we celebrate the 56 adjuncts that chose to take the Adjunct Academy in 2020 21. Not only did they voluntarily want to do this, they finished it. They completed it. And of course, between quarantine, isolation, trouble is with the economy, and while teaching, but also, you know, fulfilling this desire to improve one's teaching, many of our participants and our facilitators, myself included, have encountered additional hardships. We have lost family members, loved ones, and some of us have even weathered through the COVID virus itself. There has been a tremendous tax on all of us. And we do what we can to get by, but not for these 56 Adjunct Academy graduates and not for our team of facilitators. The Adjunct Academy has never been a program about just getting by or going through the motions. It takes genuine desire and dedication to go above and beyond, especially right now. Our team of these 56 graduates made it their business to push forward, to bear more than the day to day. And to our graduates, you are the promise of a vibrant future. Because in our present, you held fast to your teaching vocation. You committed yourself to keep going, to teach, to learn, and to further build the greatness of this HCC community. Thank you for your commitment to HCC and to our students. On behalf of the Faculty Association and Senate, I'd like to congratulate you on your achievement. I'm Daniel Dilla, Faculty Senate President for this academic year. The Faculty Senate is a representative body made up of 88 faculty members, including at least five adjunct faculty. It's unique in its commitment to adjunct representation. The Senate's adjunct caucus, made up of both elected senators and other faculty, meets monthly to discuss issues relevant to all adjunct faculty and bring them before the Faculty Senate. Adjunct faculty are the lifeblood of our institution, bringing in diverse teaching styles and new ideas. HCC would not exist as it currently does without the contributions and involvement of our adjunct faculty. We are all better for our engagement with each other. Your commitment to this college is so important both for your fellow faculty members and for our students. Thank you for being a part of the Adjunct Academy. I'm sure you learned so much in your time there, and I look forward to your contributions throughout your time here at the college. And once again, congratulations. Good evening. I'm Dr. Timothy Snyder, Interim Associate Vice Chancellor for Teaching and Learning Innovation here at Houston Community College. Like you, I started my career in higher education as an adjunct faculty member. I understand the challenges of juggling a full-time job and trying to teach, grading papers when you should be sleeping, heading off to class after work when your coworkers are going home to spend time with their families. Teaching has often made me question, is it worth it? The short answer, yes it is. You can give me a call sometime if you want the long answer. Having been in your shoes, I know how big of an accomplishment it is for you to be here tonight. It took a lot of dedication and commitment to this process and to your teaching practice. So congratulations on your achievement and a job well done. John Dewey once said, education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. 
I believe this statement to be especially true for teachers. I would encourage you all to consider the Adjunct Academy as merely the start of your teaching journey. This experience has given you a strong foundation to build your teaching practice. Most importantly, it's given you a cohort of peers to start your first community of practice, but more on that in a minute. In my experience, the best teachers are continually reflecting on their practice, improving their weaknesses, and evolving their strengths. After every class, take a moment to reflect on what transpired, what worked, what didn't, who was engaged, who wasn't, what could you have done better. Then pick one thing to improve upon for your next class. Keep it simple. You don't need to fix everything at once. Just pick one thing. I also encourage you to take regular stock in yourself as a teacher. What do you do well? How can you better leverage those aspects of your teaching practice? What do you need to work on? Again, don't try to fix everything at once. Start with a single thing. Work on it till you've mastered it and then move on to the next thing. Carl Menninger, a renowned psychiatrist, once said, what the teacher is, is more important than what he or she teaches. When I look back on the great teachers I have known throughout my academic career, I don't remember the lessons. I remember the characteristics that made them great. Their passion, their commitment to their students, their ability to convey information, and most importantly, their ability to listen. Be engaged. Be part of the dialogue with your students. Allow it to be a dialogue. Earlier, I mentioned communities of practice. According to Etienne Wenger, a renowned educational theorist and practitioner, communities of practice are formed by people who engage in a process of collective learning in a shared domain of human endeavor, such as a tribe learning to survive, a band of artists seeking a new form of expression, maybe a group of engineers working on a similar problem, or perhaps a group of new teachers helping each other cope. Let me leave you with this one call to action. Consider this cohort of academy graduates your first of many communities of practice that you'll be part of throughout your teaching career. Please stay in touch with one another. Share your challenges and accomplishments. Trade ideas. Be each other's sounding boards. Most importantly, take these ideas back to your colleges, to your departments, and to your classroom. And maybe someday, come back to the academy and share what you've learned with a new group of adjunct faculty. Again, congratulations, excellent job, and please take what you've learned here and share it with others. Thank you, and take care. Have a good evening. I also just want to take a moment here to recognize our supporters and our team. To the HCC Board of Trustees and to Chancellor Maldonado, since we've centralized this program, you continue to support our work and recognize our Adjunct Academy team and even our alumni. Thank you also to program chairs and deans for working with the Adjunct Academy to ensure that we have excellent facilitators for our participants. Thank you also to Dr. Timothy Snyder, our Interim Associate Vice Chancellor of Teaching and Learning Innovation, and especially to Dr. Norma Perez, Vice Chancellor of Instructional Services. You have been our champion and allowed this program to thrive. And lastly, and all of these individuals, I know you know well, I would like to thank the Adjunct Academy facilitators. It is your dedicated work and abilities to share your knowledge, your experiences, your weaknesses, and your strengths that most uplifts the Academy. It would not be possible without you. So thank you, Parrish Conkling, Brandon Hodge, Nasheen Pasha Zaidi, Brandon Williams, and Nicole Zaza. Good afternoon, Friday cohort. Um, I am happy to have this opportunity to say congratulations to each of you on your graduation from the Adjunct Academy. Um, I've been so pleased to act as your facilitator this year. Uh, I know that a lot has been asked of you um, during uh, this, this time and you have all faced many uncertainties, yet you've all still attended our sessions and you've brought your humor, your curiosity, and your desire to be the best instructor you can be for your students. Um, and I am so proud of your accomplishments and I, I hope that you are proud of yourselves as well. Uh, I hope that you've all 
not only learn some things, um, but also feel as though you've made some new friends and um, feel as though you are uh, more at home in our HCC community. Although our time together is at an end, please do consider me a resource for anything that you may need in the future. I'd love to hear your news and I look forward to being able to see you around campus at some undetermined date. So um, again, congratulations to each one of you. Well done. Wilfred Ajayi, Robert Cahill, Balaka Gosh, Marva Ledwith, Rachel Petrofis Chapa, Kristen Vogel, Barbara Willis, Roy Weiscarver. Congratulations, Adjunct Academy 2021. Applause. Um, you have made it. You've persevered through this, this, this difficult time. And I am so honored to have been a part of that perseverance. When, it, when I think of you, what comes to mind is grace that the extension of your patience and your time and your willingness to collaborate and listen and just give that sense of belonging um, to each other. It was a really a wonderful thing to be able to be a part of. And I'm so honored to um, have had that time with you this year. Thank you so much for your energy and congratulations. Ebele Chikwu Ekwiu. Chris Collier. Linda Graham. Stacy Hawkins. Pamela McLeod. Doris Price. Sulema Reyes. Sharon Rossum. Sholastica. Turner Moore. Hey, Majin, are you there? Hey, Jenny. Hi. Good to see you. So we're finally here. It's graduation, which is amazing. And I was also thinking about our cohort and how unique it really is because throughout all of Adjunct Academy, we've never even had a weekday cohort, much less an evening group, 6 to 8 p.m yikes and you know at first people were like I, I don't know if you're gonna get a lot of adjuncts to sign up for that and then lo and behold there needed to be two of us well you know what they say when you build it they will come and you know who we're talking about is going to be coming they're going to be all the night owls and they're going to be the midnight warriors yes we are speaking to you thursday evening cohort you are the best. You have survived COVID, Snowvid, a chipmunk invasion, actually a few of those, crickets in the WebEx audience, and our, our regularly unscheduled Thursday evening overtime. Yay! You met Saki the cat, Pablo the dog, and my Abu Dhabi mug. You survived our jokes and our silly antics, and you have now crossed over to the other side of the adjunct academy. Congratulations. And, you know, speaking of crossing over, which does sound a little bit scarier and daunting than I would have said it, but that's great. That's why we're co-facilitators, right? We the best. <laughs> you do want to think about all of the different things that you have learned from the experience in the adjunct academy not just from your facilitators, but especially from your fellow colleagues as well in all of these different disciplines. And just keep in mind, before you get back into that classroom, whether it's virtual or face-to-face, -face, <clears throat> don't feel like you need to apply everything all at once. Take time, add little by little, and sure enough, you will begin to see some of those strategies come to life in your class and we hope that your students are more engaged and of course that we see that student success increase. And I also hope to be seeing many of you on campuses in the months to come. 
So congratulations once more. And for this group, good night. Good night. Bridget Beatty Smith. Tanya Bryant. Latanya Burnett. Christy Cervantes. Denise Burrow Cronin. Shane DeHorney. Emily Maddox Butler. Wang Win. Roberto Rivera. Vishaka Shembakar. Patricia Smith. Karen Stewart. Norman Thirio. Wayne Thomas. Catherine Tuttle. Ricky Arnold Watson. Hello everyone. My name is Brandon Hodge. Um, I'm a librarian at the Spring Branch campus and I'm also the Friday cohort facilitator. Um, first of all, I want to say congratulations to my cohort. Um, you guys made it, finally. Um, and also, I want to say thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for putting in the work. Um, I've been so impressed with all of you. Um, you've shown up even when it seems like the world is burning down and even missed all of your other obligations. So again, thank you. Um, I have learned so much from each of you over the past uh, year. Um, I know that you, and I hope that all of you take your, these lessons that you learned in the academy um, and bring them into the classroom, transform your instruction, and by extension, our students. I expect great things from each of you. Um, and so again, congratulations, and I'll see you on campus. John Patrick Akiniemi. Gloria Anderson. Keelan Burroughs. Tanaz Falahi. Denise Hewlett. Tahere Jafari. Charles Lamandola. Melanie Lowe. Termina Rahman. Barbara Senakova. Natalie Stovall. David Valdez. Beth Wade. Greetings and congratulations to the entire graduating class of 2020-21 Adjunct Academy. You guys are all amazing. This past year has been really difficult for all of us. The challenges we faced are not even worth mentioning right now, but each of you stuck out the program and you put in the hard work and you attended all the sessions. You did everything that we asked and you did that because you care about your teaching and you care about your students. And that is why HCC is lucky to have you on board because of your care for your teaching and for your students. To my own cohort, second Saturday cohort, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for making this year enjoyable for me. Thank you for the fun that we've had. Thank you for the jokes that we've made. Thank you for teaching me. I know that I've learned a lot from all of you, and I hope that you've also been able to walk away with lessons that will inform your teaching, your careers, and help you in engaging with your students in the future. To everyone, I'm proud of you. You guys are awesome, you did well, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future has for each of you. Syed Ali. Nayahabe Anthony. Marcus Brown. Olivia Aisha Brown Bradley. 
Noritha Carter McLean, Sharita Johnson, Mohammed Khan, Julia Kress, Anne Otalor, Jennifer Scholl. I am so glad that you've been able to join us for this special celebration, especially to our family and friends of our Academy graduates. And a million thank yous to HCC TV, the team that has worked on putting this video together, especially to Tony Rao Sutherland and Nathan Hale. I hope that you will join us for part two. You should have been sent a web link in your RSVP that will allow you to join us via Zoom. And I hope that you will also share some of your words with us. And we might also have a few special guests drop in as well. This concludes the first half of the 2020-21 Adjunct Academy graduation. Congratulations, graduates.